let's look at the Christie administration. The Christie administration comes in, and the first thing that happens, uh, the Prime Minister says, okay, well, if any oil drilling is going to take place, we're going to go to a referendum. I believe he did that. This is my considered view. If I'm, if I'm wrong, let me know. I believe he did that only because of his involvement with BPC to try and distance himself from it. And so because of his involvement and his deputy prime minister's involvement with BPC, they are now again placing another barrier on adding billions of dollars of revenue to the Bahamian economy. And the games that they are playing with this thing, when we could really, in real terms, eliminate our national debt, really create another industry for Bahamians, it's just shameful. That's my, that's my view. You know, Brent, you, you, you go further than that. It was already agreed that this company would be able to do test wells. Um, this, this was a part of their prospectus that they put online over a year ago. They had a timeline towards. But, but, the, but, I, but I think, the, I think, I think uh, what, what one is saying is absolutely right, and I, I think that what he's the point he's made about it being a referendum issue has more to more, it goes more to integrity and the uh, complete absence of any kind of conflict of interest or an appearance of a conflict of interest. And to oh, have, uh, to, there's no appearance of a conflict. Well, well there's, there's, there's no, no he's conflict. No, no, well, okay, okay, <laughs> he's, okay, okay he, fair enough. He's greatly conflict. Fair enough. As is the deputy prime minister, that as is, is two or three other members of the of the parliament. And that is, that is that is all the reason why, when this is not a normal, no, this would not, would not normally be a referendum issue. Why he may be saying, listen, we want to go to referendum, so there's absolutely no question about about, about this about about this being completely above board. And so I don't have an issue with that. I, 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 he doesn't have to go to the he referendum. Does, you don't he have to go to, to parliament. You don't no, have to. no, but, but all, any bills that go to parliament, anything that goes to parliament is a government, is a government bill. It's a government driven and, bill. And, and, and so it has, you know, again, it, it, people will say, the opposition will say, and perhaps uh, rightly so, that he's only compounding it. He's just getting uh, all of his guys to back him up in, his, in, in, in support of what he's trying to do. And so why not put this thing completely above board? Which behavior is going to say, listen, given the, in, in, the in, in light of and given the, the, the requisite control Rules, checks and balances. We should not explore for oil. I mean, who's, who's going to say well, except, my, except some some environmentalists? Of right. course, and and, and the, the environment's an important issue to me. But so is you know eating and and, and, and having a roof over my head. Uh, but the, the, here's here's my solution to this BPC issue. It's invite everyone to bid and to participate, as opposed to just BPC, whose whose stock is is uh, solely rises and falls on whether they can drill press, press in the Bahamas. Exactly, on press releases. Okay, that's the first issue. Uh, the second thing I want to bring up is, I'm wondering what uh, poll that uh, the Christie administration took to figure out if we should even have referenda on these issues. Yeah, no poll, no poll so who's making a decision to have referenda? Do the Bahamian people want these referenda. You know, I've watched the shares of BPC. Millions have been made and lost in that company over the past three years. When you look at where that share price started, where it peaked, where it is now, millions, <laughs> millions. So based on the whimsical statements of whoever is the Prime Minister of the Bahamas at any given point in time. So you have to, I wonder if we are sensitive, are our leaders sensitive, that sensitive to what they are doing? Are they that ignorant to what they're doing? Um, how deep does all of this go? Well, let me, let's ask Brent. Brent, are we serious about this issue, do you think, as a country? 